We were gonna buy these sliders for a build that we're working on right now. But now we decided to see if we can build them for less. But there's a catch. We're gonna include the price of all the tools from the welder to the gas to even the tape measure that we use and see if you can buy all the tools that you need to build rock sliders plus the metal for less than just buying rock sliders. We got to draw out our basic shape and plans. We got our measurements figured out, pulled those from the car. Now we need to cut our metal to length. Can use an angle grinder. You can get these at Harbor Freight for cheap. This one's a DeWalt, doesn't have to be a DeWalt. If you want to do a nicer saw, over here, we have a cold cut saw. This one specifically is from Evolution, and this is a much easier and nicer way to make cuts. Always need your safety shield. Okay, for bending tube, we have a couple options. We have this one, this is Zeph's actually. He uses this to make all his bumpers on his Cherokee and everything actually. Another option that we have in the shop that you'll see us use is the swag bender. This one's more expensive. This one's like 700 bucks. It just makes it a little bit more repeatable to get perfect bends, but either one is fully capable of making rock sliders. Okay, so we're laying it out now. We have our pipe cut. You just said something that was really interesting. We actually cut these pipes to the exact same length. Mm -hmm. We have the front one that you bent basically two 45 degree angles yep. on, right? And then by the time we cut the notches on the end, it basically nests perfectly, perfectly to together. make a slider. You absolutely don't have to put a plate across the top. On my sliders for my Jeep, I just have some pieces of tube in there to keep that from bending in. Looks a bit more rock crawler. There's definitely other ways that you guys could save money. We're trying to actually mimic a really nice, fairly expensive slider. For the rock sliders today, we are using round tube like this. It's called 120 wall. That's the thickness of it. We are also using eighth inch uh, flat stock that's four inches wide. That's gonna be for the step on top of it. We're putting dimple dies into that. So that's where you use a punch to punch out a hole, like about a one inch hole, and then you use a dimple die to dimple that up. It actually makes that metal more rigid, and then it also gives you grip. So when you're stepping on the step, you don't just slide right off of it. A lot of the mass produced rock sliders out there use a top plate that is screwed on to the round tube. That is actually a terrible idea because it introduces the possibility for water to get inside of your tube and then it will just rust out because the inside of the tube, of course, is not painted. One other advantage of making your own sliders is if you have a welder, instead of the manufactured ones that are almost all bolt-on, you can actually just weld them to your frame. So that saves you quite a bit of metal. The other thing it saves you is drilling holes in your frame and having big old bolts that hang down where your car is supposed to be sliding on a rock slider. Oh, and before anybody calls it out, if these were going on an actual rock crawler or a very, very heavy truck, we would have added cross braces underneath the step, uh, but for an overland build, it's not actually necessary. Okay, we have a few different options for notching. The expensive one is something like this swag notcher. It's really convenient, but it's also incredibly expensive. The cheaper option is to use a grinder and Zeph will show us how to do that. How does it so work? notching is essentially just fitting these two tubes together on an angle right, like this, basically. So what I like to do is I basically, I set my tube on here and I don't go like halfway through or anything cause that's just not necessary. So I go usually about a quarter inch down and I basically just trace myself a guideline, right? And so then when I'm grinding, I can, I know that that's where I can stop. And then I'll go exactly across from that and I'll do the same thing. And then I'll basically, I usually use a flap disc and I just massage it. And then I fit a piece of tube until it fits nicely. Pretty fast, honestly. So you can see if I went a little bit farther and close that up, but you can see the general shape. But yeah, I'm gonna go just a little bit farther, massage this in, and the only thing you wanna be worried about is if this is square or not, because if you go deeper on one side, you'll kick yeah. your tube off. 
It's really not that bad. It's not I mean, bad. I know it's the budget way to do it, and everybody looks down on it, but like that only took, I don't know, a minute. There's so nothing not wrong with it at all. Sweet. Let me start out by saying these sliders didn't have to have dimple dyed cutouts. We were just trying to be fancy and wanted to make this video as educational as possible. But since we're playing with a tight budget, we made this really hard on ourselves. First, we tried to use a knockout punch from Harbor Freight, and it actually had good reviews. It was rated for steel that was 0 0.120 inches thick. Ours was 0.125. For the record, five thousandths of an inch is actually as thick as half of a piece of paper. So we figured we were probably in the clear. The first hole went great, and we used the press, with the dimple die, and we were in business. Or so we thought. Does it like this thick of metal? It, oh, filled us. <laughs> All right, well, we hit our first hiccup. We have blown up our bolt. It sent, uh, it sent pieces all the way to the ceiling that rained down. Um, so I would not buy that for one eighth steel. No. Uh, it's a no go. Uh, so yeah, we're using the press to do it and it does work. It's really slow. So in a case of if you were trying to do this yourself, I would use less dimple dies. Only a couple down the middle for grip, not 20 of them. All right, so we're back. So update, Lauren has got all our dimple dies done, yeah. which of course curves the metal, which yep. is, we're gonna have to flatten out to weld onto there. Yep. And then we've got to cut off uh, the edges to match the curvature of this. We can use uh, this to cut this. Cut off wheel. Yeah, we'll just use a cut off wheel. So nice low budget solution, uh, nothing fancy. And the dimple dies look good. They we went awesome. with less. He wanted to do 100 million per <laughs> step. And we decided to go with however many that is. Less track, oh, come on. Look at these, look how grippy these things are. These are gonna offer all the grip you need. Okay, so we're using a really cheap welder um, because it was the only way to afford doing this. So we have one of the normal Harbor Freight ones that people would say is a cheap welder. This is the Vulcan. I got this thing on sale, I think for $7.99. That's the MIG uh, 215. We're not using that one. We're actually using this Yes Welder. Yeah. Uh, and Yes Welder actually was nice enough to kind of semi-sponsor this video and send us all this stuff for free to test out for this actual video. But this thing is, I think it's $220. All digital readout. I mean, it auto, it's on smart mode right now, so it's auto setting. This is my first weld with the welder and we're standing here kind of surprised at what it looks like. Cause I'm not even, I've never been taught how to weld. So if you come over here, yeah, we, That's I know everybody is gonna tell us, oh, you need to learn to weld better. And yeah, 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 if it's not perfectly perfect, everybody's got an opinion on welding. $220 MIG welder, um, we used the gun that came with it, everything. I even have it set up to the factory settings. I opened up the panel and I set it up to what they said to, and I'm not gonna change anything, it's perfect. The welding was one of the things we were the most worried about, whether it was actually gonna be affordable to try to pull this off. But if you're a beginner and you're just trying to make rock sliders and even just decide whether you want to get into fabrication, this can definitely make rock sliders, no problem. All right, so these are plugs for the end of the pipe. You can order these online, eight bucks for a 10 pack. These are way cheaper to just buy online than to try to make yourself. Although they do come in just about the most annoying packaging ever. What is it, Langmire? Langmuir Systems Table. Also, we're not really supposed to be using it in this video uh, because we're supposed to be showing how you can make this stuff super cheap. And the truth is, 
We do have enough vice grips that we could do this on the ground, or we could all just stand on it and tack it in. If we really needed to demonstrate that, I could. Nate, Nate always follows the rules. There's no point in like making a budget video and then like flat out cheating and using stuff that you can't possibly make it without. But we, we can, can we can make this without doing this. Yeah, we could. I just it's getting really really late at night, and I feel like we should um, get some sleep since I haven't slept since February. <laughs> <laughs> so How are we doing? I just did all this welding back to back without stopping because I really wanted to test the duty cycle. I got this gun so hot you can't even touch it, and I went over here to set my gloves down, and this. I, you guys can't feel it, but this ground cable is hot. So we're That's putting it. her to the test. We're, yeah, and then this, the feed wire. It's not that bad. But uh, yeah, we're testing her for you guys. The duty cycle um, rules we should probably follow. Um, but you know, it's doing great so far. Real world testing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad I can be useful for something. It's not structural welding, but entertainment and graffiti is my department apparently. All right, so for the record, he's going to try to draw right outdoor auto on it and apparently also a YouTube symbol, but we're doing it on the inside where you can't see it. Unfortunately. This is just devolved. Everybody's learning to weld tonight. Well. Roll that one. That's near the YouTube symbol. She's got like this kind of. Sure. Let's show her what that is. Kind of cartoony. It is cartoony. I can read it. Outdoor auto. Maybe we're going to die cut something that we can just <laughs> weld on in the future. Whatever. But look! This is way classier. Outdoor auto. And here's the artist. Tell us about yourself, artist. Leaves, <laughs> because frames usually, well, kind of dirty. They spatter all over you and burn you. Yeah, so we got sleeves that we got to add to our budget now. Hey, it's time. Connect them in. Okay, right, well, that's it. We They're both it. installed. Now we gotta do the math and we gotta see where we ended up. I bet we did it. I'm pretty sure we're cheaper. I'm confident that you can do this for less than buying them. Absolutely. And guys, these look pretty good. All they need to do is get rattle canned or painted and, uh, and we're in business. All right, well, I finally got all the prices for all the tools added up and we're gonna go see if Zeph can guess where we ended up. Okay, Zeph. The price of the rock sliders that we were comparing this to were $13.81. Uh, I got the total of all the tools on this. How do you think we did? We didn't make it. We didn't quite make it. Damn. We actually went over. If anybody thinks that we were going to cheat, uh, there's the honest truth. Look, we went over by $276. But, but we were close. We were so close. And we have all the tools now. So we can yeah. do it again. I think, I mean, we, we actually tried to win this challenge for sure. Uh, we didn't. We're not going to cheat and lie and tell you that we did. We were over by 276 bucks. I think a lot of people would have had some of the tools that we were pricing. Yeah. Like, a, a measuring tape, a drill. A drill. So we like, glasses. yeah, we included so many um, things that most people already the, would have. For the knockout punches, you really could just use a hole saw on your drill. Hey, if, if we would have left the dimple dies off altogether, we'd be well under budget. Yeah. I think it was a really good challenge to try to pull off, and I, th Absolutely. I think it still proves the point. Like, if you need rock sliders in your whole life, you've kind of wanted to get into fabricating, mm -hmm. it's a fantastic excuse to go and buy the stuff and do it. Yes, it will cost you a tiny bit more, but, um, but look at how much fun we had. <laughs> our next set of sliders are gonna cost 300 bucks. Yeah, our next set is gonna cost 300 bucks yeah. because we already have all the gear now. Yeah. That was fun. That was one of the more challenging videos we've ever had to do as far as filming and collecting everything. So thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it.